Hi, how's it going? In this demonstration, we're going to look at one more feature in the taskbar that helps us um, kind of guide our user uh, towards how to use the application that we happen to be building. Um, the idea is with common tasks. So here, I've got Windows Media Player. So some common things that I might do with Windows Media Player, um, I can put on the task list. So when I right click in the taskbar, there's a couple of common things, you know, resume previous list and play all music. Just common things that um, whoever wrote Windows Media Player thought that a person using it might want to do. Now this is something that we can take advantage of in our own application using the Windows Code Pack for .NET. So let's go back to our simple app. We'll, uh, we'll say that when we browse and find a folder, let's populate a few uh, common tasks for our user. So we'll go to our taskbar again. And this time we'll look at the jump list. That jump list is the set of tasks that we have. We'll go to user tasks and we'll add a value there. Now I've got this on my clipboard, so I'll just paste it in and I'll show you. What we'll do is we'll say open notepad. So when they, after they select um, a folder, we'll open notepad and all we're giving it is the path to the executable and where Windows 7 can find the icon for that executable. Of course, your own applications, you put your own application in there. So let's say when we run our app, right click, we've got no tasks right now. But when we browse, find our folder, now when we right click, we see the task that we added, we access that, we open notepad. So the jump list or the tasks inside of the taskbar um, help us guide our user towards you know, the most common ways to use the application that we're writing. Just another one of those ways to enhance the user experience uh, when you're on Windows 7. Thank you.